I got carried away because I'm always excited for God TV every Wednesday, 5 p.m. Yeah. Eastern's Day time, baby. But you guys, if you are here, welcome to God TV show. God TV show. Um, yes. First, start off with the likey likey button. Thumbs up, baby. Thumbs up, baby. Important. Thumbs yes, up. very important. It's right so down cool. below on the side. I don't know what, what computer you have. Don't forget, most important is subscribe. Yeah, or up above, or up above. Thank you, I don't Val. think it's above. above. Yeah, I'm pretty sure yes. it's below. Yeah. It's below. <laughs> it's below. Yes. Hello. 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 Hello, down below. Oh, boy. Wow. Yes, and don't forget to, yeah, that, to subscribe. And then also our favorite is the bell icon. So yes. click that little bell icon. Just to get you know, just to get notified when our show goes live, and um, we're in the live chat every Wednesday. So yes, we have a good time, and our subscription is growing and growing and growing. Oh man, huge shout out to our members! I can't believe it is growing. You know, it's really cool to come over to YouTube because we were on Patreon for so long, but now here on YouTube because they offer all these different incentives and the different levels and tiers, and it's so cool because they can get all the exclusive stuff right here on YouTube in our member section. Love oh, it. Yeah. I love that. And it keeps a little tally of like how long they've been members and all of those things. I love seeing those highlighted like in the chat. Um, plus they get all of our little hottie toddies. Yes. Yes. Which we love. We do love some hottie toddies. Dude, what, Lisa, when you said, oh, below, when we're like, hello, below, I watched last night. I just want to say this. I watched Fifty Shades Black or Fifty Shades Black. <laughs> okay I didn't realize it was like a whole thing like I, I remember seeing the first one I think I missed the darker but went straight to the black wow anyway really yeah it's pretty much watching um Skinamax is what I feel like I'm watching and this is also the 50 shades of gray thing right yes yeah but it was good. well I, I talked to someone who, who what's that I said it was good I didn't turn it off yeah, it's like, that bad. I talked to someone, Sanjay, that <laughs> described it as mommy porn. Yes. Meaning it's very much for ladies of a certain age that have, you know, they're not like in their 18s or 20s. They're like, they're, they're, they're more experienced in that. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Sexual awakenings. That's very woke. And it is Pride Month. Let's talk about being woke and awesome. Um, yeah, but I've not seen it yet. I do love Dakota um, Johnson. I love her bangs. Mm -hmm. So um, Thank I think I would like it. Yeah. I think you would actually. And Skinamax like never hurt I'm nobody. You know you not, have you not seen any of them? None of it. No. Oh my gosh, I'm in shock right now. And I don't know anything about the guy in it. Like I don't know anything. Yeah. I, I don't know from anything. Well, I'll say from reading the book, the guy that they picked, or at least in this darker, I'm like, is it the same one? I don't remember. It was so long ago since I saw the first one. If it was the same actor, probably not. Who? What I envisioned when I read the book. Right. Is People Christian said Bride. that. Yeah. Yeah, not what I envisioned, but I was okay with it. I would I didn't yeah. hate it. I didn't hate it. You're him. not hating it. Just in, in the same vein, Aaron, if she's in the live chat, what's up, Aaron? Hi, everyone in the live chat. She was just watching the new Magic Mike. And I told a story that I saw Kevin Nash at WrestleCon. And he mentioned something about Magic Mike and his friend was in LA and he was talking to him. And I said, Sir, I've never seen that movie. And he goes, Why? I said, Because I heard you're in your skivvies. And he said, No, it's not that bad. I'm like, well, I'm not I am watching it. Oh. You don't want to see the silver Nash? Skivvies? No. It was weird. Not Mr. He was Nash. No, he, I think he had long pants on on his dance yeah. routine. Yeah, oh, yeah, God, yeah. that would scare me. It's too close he for was comfort. great in that movie. He was incredible. But Matt Bomer's in it, who's a bit of a tish. So, <laughs> yes, Mother May I. Served hot. Ooh, piping hot. Ooh, like our hot toddies. Ooh, hot, 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 hot. Very hot. Speaking of hot. Yep. It is a hot month, you guys. It is Pride Month. <laughs> yes. And I'm coming at you live from uh, Le Marais, which is the LGBTQIA plus community of Paris. So I am in the right place. Okay. I am having the right vibes right now. And who better to join us for Pride Month than our pal CJ. Now, CJ, you will know from being such a great supporter of God TV, obviously yep. his other half, Ginger Minch, was on the show to surprise me for my birthday. You have to watch the replay of that. Oh my gosh, amazing. And CJ is the founder 
of Fruit Wine Productions, um, the I Am What I Am campaign. There's so many amazing things that collectively they do, but CJ, obviously, you know, he's on the road. He's doing so many different things, wearing so many hats, all fabulous ones, mind, mind you. But CJ is here to talk about Pride Month and just celebrate with us. And without further ado, please welcome him to God TV. He's a grown-ass man. A gam. A gam. Welcome, CJ. There you are. Oh, gorgeous. Look oh, at you. Gorgeous thing. Oh, let's do it. Wait, 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 wait. We have to get a screen cap. Oh, my God. I'm, my heart is just full. Look at this setup. Look at this hair. You look fabulous. Well, thank y'all. I'm, I wish I was as fancy as y'all with the stripes and the the painting and the hat. Oh, it's no. Not we'll, that fancy. we'll describe what we're doing. Yeah. We're not even home. It's, it's weird. It's hotel room, which is... I was like, I was actually looking back at him like, is this weird, ladies? How does this backdrop? <laughs> I, like it. It has actually, all the colors. I like that painting, actually. <laughs> You'll be I'm, I'm like you, CJ. I'm like you because my dogs keep on going back and forth and distracting the show. And then it's just too much going on behind. So I had to get a, a backdrop. So, um, but I want some fancy backdrop. I want to get yeah. something colorful. I might do a graffiti with paint with that says God TV. Oh. Like, ooh, I'm not, at, I'm not good at that kind of graffiti. You know how you see on the streets when they jag? They yeah. I want that. Yeah. Maybe my, maybe my neighbors can do it, but yeah. <laughs> Thank you for being on our show, show CJ. Um, oh. Love you so much. Again, for the second time. You know how we start the show? What you drink and what you're wearing. Uh, I'll start with drink because I'm an alcoholic. Um <clears throat> Why am so, I applauding that? Yeah. Oh, it's blurring. Here, let me do what the influencers do. Oh, oh is that what they do? That how you do it? I am drinking uh, an aviation in a custom um, my last name on a mug. Kind of. Let me do. There we go. There it is. Our, oh, wow. A little etchy uh, etch. Oh, etchy. So nice. Etch. Beautiful. Um, from my Bartesian machine. Uh, which is a uh, cocktail maker, which is kind of it's similar to a Keurig. You put the pot in, you close it, and then it makes you a cocktail. From what? It's what a it's it? it is the it's life changing. It is you, you put in like four different, different, different kinds of liquors, and it, like it it labels it for you. So like you have to put a rum in, a vodka, a gin, um, and a tequila, and then you buy the pods. They get sent to your house. You put them in. You close the machine. You push a button, and it makes you a delicious cocktail. And what's it called? Um, what's it called again? Bartesian. 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 Okay. That's this, this episode is not sponsored by them, but if you would like to send the girls, <laughs> it's about it. to. Right. It's about to be. <laughs> it is. Wow. Um, so it's delicious. Um, and I am wearing a beautiful polo by Target. 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 Yeah. yeah. Gorgeous. Shout out to and then hair is done by me. Yes. Gorgeous. Gorgeous. I usually wait till the end, but we have a whole system going tonight. So I'll tell you that um, my setup is weird because I am in literally gay Paris because I am in Le Marais, which is the LGBTQIA plus community of Paris that a friend of mine, Cyril, from Herod Champagne Bar, which I frequent. That's kind of my second office. Not going to lie. <laughs> Poppy's lovely, but champagne's better. And he told me to come here one time and I was like, oh my God, I love it. And it's my favorite area of Paris. I am obviously not in my element. I don't have my bell. I don't have my lights, whatever. But hopefully it's it's going okay. I have a little French, uh, little like baby wine. Oh, yes, most of it's gone. This is like a little baby one, like a little two kind of two glasses one. And it's Autrement. And it is a um, an organic rosé. And it's going down real, real like a treat. So that's good. And again, I don't have anything too pride Fabulous, but I am wearing up my favorite Aldo necklace with a matching brooch that's somewhere. That's nice. Well, thanks. A little sparkle, you know, yeah. just for CJ. And this dress is by a company called Bunky, M-O-N-K-I, that is a London-based brand that I absolutely love. It's very similar to a mango mm. uh, or in other stories. And CJ, I must say before I ramble too much that the aviation is, I don't like cocktails very much. I'm very basic. I'm a um, white wine or like a vodka soda girl. Aviation mm -hmm. is my favorite cocktail in the world. And one of the best ones is made in Orlando at the pharmacy. I don't know if still open or not. Mm. Best. Yes. Yeah. So cheers to that. I love it. That's my favorite cocktail. Kendra. Oh my God. I'll go next. 
Um, okay. Because I'm also in a location, on location, on a secret location, because I'm working on this project right now, which I'm so excited. I can't wait to share with you all. But I do look a mess because we just got back and I didn't have alcohol in my room, CJ, but I wanted to feel like I was part of the party uh, because I knew the ladies were going to be drinking because you're here and we're celebrating. So I made a Sprite in a cup with some Gatorade Zero to make it look like this beautiful little cocktail. And I thought this would add like a little splash of color, just a little splash of love in there. And um, mm -hmm. I'm wearing my super colorful Frank. Shout out to Frank, who's always in the chats. Um, made this. Yes. Val, I think this is supposed to be you. Is it? I yes, feel like that's you. So too. In my it's mind. It's like Greek now. And then I got on wow. some little leggings, you know? Yes. <laughs> Come on, kick line. Right, that's my right right here. Da, 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 da. Okay. <laughs> hey, I'm, 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 I'm drinking out of a, a boring glass, uh, a, a gin and water. I don't oh. have tonic anymore. Yeah, I know, water. It's okay. Good for you. It's, okay. well, it's yeah, hydrating. I it's hydrating. I'm trying to get mm -hmm. my H2O in, right? Yes, you know? Of course. And uh, I am, uh, I, I was trying to. I just got back from a convention yesterday. So I was like, I woke up super late today and I'm like, I didn't get anything fancy to wear. Let me put my ears on so I can hear <laughs> CJ um, get, doing the cougar thing. We know we all like the cougar. You I'm really, the cougar. I, this is, I, I am the cougar. <laughs> <laughs> Something very basic and I have my pajama bottoms on. <laughs> Back, yes. Yes, girl. Waist up, I'm cheating. Waist up, waist up. Yeah. It's like COVID all over again. Waist yeah. up. Yeah. All the yeah. Zoom. How this show started was COVID, was the pandemic. Mm -hmm. And most of our beginning episodes were all in our PJs. So I feel like yeah. it's full circle. I think it's perfect, Lisa. It's a good omen. Cougs. Thanks. Good omen. Cougs I'm, I'm, I'm back. Throwback. Throwback. <laughs> Absolute throwback. I just want to point out that also, I'm not editing this out, by the way. I'm, I'm not doing it. I have a tiny little, look how tiny this little light is. And because I'm in a very old French hotel, a lot of my plugs are not working. I bought new converters and there's not much options here, not many options here. So this is, you know, this is how we do it. We're unfiltered. We're, we're traveling. We're on the road ski. We're making those towns, right, Mickey? Making so those towns. Yeah. Yeah. I'm on a loop. Looked and blessed. La loop. Oui, s'il vous plaît. Merci beaucoup. Oui. Oui, oui. Lots of How's stuff. everything going, CJ? I feel like it's been so long since we chatted with you, since we caught up. Please catch us up on just life. How you been? I see you're super busy all over town, all over the world, everywhere. Yeah, life has been um, very interesting. I, uh, you know, we started a production company this year, earlier in the year, Fruit Wine Productions. Um, and at the beginning of the year, we were in Chicago for five weeks doing our Golden Gal show. Mm -hmm. we finished that. Then from there, we went and did a few more gigs here and there with Ginger. Ginger announced her book. So now we're on that. Um, we're going to be in Provincetown all summer. Um, at the time of this filming, I'm in Orlando. But when this comes out, I'm in Atlanta doing Golden Gals. Um, yeah. And then we're in Provincetown all summer. Uh, and then from there, Ginger goes out on the road. I get to relax for two months. Then we go on a cruise and then we do it all again. How about that? Um, wow. I know the been, Golden Gals has been amazing. I see all the stuff. Like that's got to be so fun. Yeah, it's it was a passion project a couple of years ago. Right. Um, we just did in Orlando, and then it just kind of exploded into something that we we never thought it was going to become. Right. Um, we just thought it was going to be a bunch of homosexuals coming to watch us in a gay bar, do our thing. And then you know we were we were blessed enough to be able to do it a few more times here. Um, it got caught a wind. Blew it all the way to Chicago. Um, we did it in Chicago for five weeks. And then on the plane ride home from that, we were invited to come and do the largest and only at the time Golden Girls convention uh, named Golden Con in Chicago. Oh, oh my um, God. Lisa, Lisa's the biggest fan of all of us at that show, by the way. I know Lisa's <laughs> freaking out right now. It's my That's her ringtone. I was actually that's watching it in my room last night. I was yeah. Like, that's my go to sleep uh, show. <laughs> I know every show, so I don't have to stay up and go, wait, what, what happened there? I just know every line. You just know. It's like me with The Office. I'm the same way with The Office. You, I just It's my it's my guilty pleasure, if you will. Come on, uh, sure. But when we were in uh, Chicago doing it, we got the blessing of the writer of the show, um, the producers of the show, and B. Arthur and... Um, Estelle Getty's assistants 
they gave us their blessing um, on the show. And oh my God. I'm, I'm going to get teary out from this. Uh, one of the biggest things was Richard, who was Estelle Getty's assistant up until the day she died um, and was next to her when she did pass, said that Estelle Getty would have found this funny. And that was the biggest compliment in the entire world. Um, he came and saw us in Orlando, again, our secondary show in Orlando. Um, and he's just become this like friend of ours. And it's kind of like, it's the closest thing that we can get to the original girls. Yeah. And to have him give us his blessing and to say Estelle would have loved it was, it made all of us kind of like teary out and said, this is why we do it. We don't do it for the fame. We don't do it for anything like that. We do it because we want to show people that we love the girls as much as they do. And that's why we right. do it. Right. And you're honoring them. Yeah. And that, that's one yeah. of those things, especially on Drag Race, if you guys are, are, are not familiar, the people that are in the chat and that are watching, you know, with Drag Race, um, the Golden Girls are something that's so untouchable. It's kind of like somebody trying to do Cher or, you know, Beyonce was something that nobody touched for a very long time. And Ginger is such a fan that we knew that whatever she would do with, with that character and with, with the, with the show would yeah. be really, really respectful. But I, I would assume, especially for her and, and for you, you know, being, being behind the scenes there that it was a big undertaking and a big responsibility to do it right. Right. Did you feel pressure to kind of go, Oh gosh, now someone's actually doing it and we want to make sure that we're honoring them. I had no idea by the way, that they were involved and approving of it. That is tremendous. Yeah, all the yeah, part. yeah we, um, we've seen many people do the show. Uh, you know, there's casts all over the States. There's a cast in San Francisco, which uh, Heclina, who unfortunately just passed away a couple of months ago, uh, was their B. Arthur, their, their Dorothy. Mm -hmm. um, you know, there's a cast in New York, the Golden Gays, who are incredible at what they do. Um, you know, and then we're down in Orlando doing our thing. And there's many casts around the country that try to do the Golden, Gal the Golden Girls. Um, yeah. But they do it in a way that I don't want to diss any of them, but it's more of a parody than a sure. tribute. Right. Um, we try to honor the original four in a way that doesn't make fun of them. What they did on the show is what we try to continue to do. So what our scripts are very much, would they have said this? If it's a yes, we put in the script. If it's a no, we omit it. Um, right. you know, and it's been very successful. Yeah. Um, you know, there's a, there's the golden gays in New York, they don't do theatricals, but they are a great cast that does um, a loving singing tribute. They do bingos as the Golden Girls. They do trivia as the Golden Girls. So it's very different than what we do. The San Francisco yeah. cast does a parody of the Golden Girls. So it's a little bit more tongue in cheek, over exaggerated, uh, induendo worked. So it's it, they're all different. They're all incredible. Um, we're the best, just learn. But you know, just saying. She's Which one saying. is what that RuPaul drag con that I when when you came to visit that you and, and Ginger came to visit me. They, they had a, they had a booth there. Which yeah. one was that? So that was just the so during um quarantine in 2020, World of Wonder, who produces Drag Race, did uh the Golden Girls quarantine special, which oh. we were a part of. Um, and then uh Miss Kasha Davis, Pandora Box, um, Kennedy Davenport, and oh my god, I forgot who the other one was. Oh, she's gonna kill me when she watches this. Um, yeah. They did the Golden Girls at Golden Con, uh, go, uh, Drag Con, because Hulu had sponsored uh, Golden uh, Drag Con. Wow, I'm Golden Girls in my mind. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, There's Drag a lot Con. of queens and a lot of shows right now. Do you do, yeah. do not feel bad? I can barely um, keep up myself. So they they did a tribute there with them. They don't tour anything. It was just kind of one off. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Wow, it's fun. That's hey, that's it's, it pays the bills and I enjoy it. You know, I'm not an actor. I'm not a performer. My specialty is behind the scenes and organizing it and making things happen and creating marketing and all that kind of stuff. So when I watch my cast go out on stage, I get teary eyed because it's something that like I enjoy watching happen. I enjoy watching right. it all together and then watching the final product happen. And it's it's. But you're certainly influential, not only in, in the ways of, of the production and fruit wine production, congratulations on that, but also in the I Am What I Am campaign that we're seeing all over social media with some big names and you and Ginger have actually posed for it as well. Tell us about the campaign, how it came about and what it promotes. Yeah, so with all these anti-LGBT bills going all over the states right now uh, in Texas, in Tennessee, in Orlando, or in Florida in general, we felt that we wanted a way to show these people that we aren't going anywhere, that we are staying true to who we are, that we are who we are, 
And no matter what you try to do, we're not going to hide. We're not going to run away. We're not going to go back in the closet, which what you want. And we're not going to cease to exist because that's what you, that's what you want. So we decided this year to have Ginger finally record. I am what I am from the Kasha fall, uh, which she performed many years ago on the trailblazer awards in front of Harvey Firestein as a surprise to him. And if you're watching in the chat, you don't know who Harvey Firestein is. He's a composer, a writer, he is an actor, he's an advocate, he's also a gay man um, who really, really kind of changed the way that Broadway is presented uh, and was starting to tell stories of the gay community in a larger, more mainstream um, audience. He was he wrote the book for Hairspray, the musical. Uh, he wrote the book for La Caja Fall. Um, he wrote the book for um, Kinky Boots, um, all mega hits, and he was he's a very big influence on us. But anyway, so we recorded that song finally and put it out this year. And we decided, you know, why don't we elevate it? Why don't we put the song out and make worth something more than just a song? So we put out a campaign this year called the I Am What I Am campaign. Um, and all the money benefits the ACLU Drag Defense Fund, which is, uh, if you don't know the ACLU, they made a fund to help fight these ridiculous bills that are going on all over the country um and to continue giving them money to fight for us we put out a shirt it looks like this oh it, it blurred give me a sec oh there we go there it, is. Uh, it says i am what i am like this behind it <laughs> um, you're such an influencer cj oh it's like it, in the um when the doctor checks your vision yeah <laughs> a b a, A. Oh God, I'm getting old, you guys. I'm getting old. How many cocktails have you had? <laughs> yeah, what the? Uh, but it's a simple statement. It literally is just a white shirt with black lettering that says "I am what I am," um, and we. We're, it's $20 at our website, which is whatiamcampaign.com. Uh, and we're just encouraging everyone to kind of wear the shirt and show people that we are who we are and I am what I am and we're not going anywhere. Um, and to, to date, we have raised $1,500 in five days wow. for wow. the ACLU. Um, and we have, um, we all wore shirts. We did a whole photo shoot in Orlando for it. Um, we have a bunch of the drag race girls about to put it on. Um, and it's just, it's, it's something that I've never been so passionate about something in my entire life. And this is something that I feel and hope will outlive myself um, and really change the world. And that's kind of, you know, something that I've always wanted to do was change the world. And hopefully this is that, that moment. That's so. yes. and I think we can see some of the pictures right here. Yes. yes. we we'll want to show you the picture. And we also want to remind you guys that the link is in the description. You can buy the shirt right now. You can, you know, it, first of all, it's a conversation starter, right? And that's how a lot of these um, these great issues are, are discussed and, and promoted and, and, and shared, you know, in 2023 with social media and then starting a discussion by wearing the t-shirt. So all the links you need are in the description right here. Thank you. My gosh, thank you for doing that. Thank you for being, you know, part of change and progression, especially in this crazy, crazy time we're living in, for sure. There's, there's never a better time than right now to get your I am what I am t-shirt. I'm going to be buying one, of course, and wearing yeah. it probably. Yeah. Doing a little photo shoot. Why not? Cheers to that. Cheers well, to I am what I am. I love that you said in all of that, CJ, honestly, was like that I want to change the world and hopefully this lives on past me and past this first campaign. And that was so powerful because it's so like purposeful, you know, and I, and I can see that even with your, and I think too, because I'm sure you can attest to this from your own space of like, what the last you know year two years or whatever all this especially in the last it's been so volatile lately um and it's been a bit scary you know and it's frustrating because you know you're our friend we love you you know and it, it's frustrating i think for us as friends and allies too to see so much like um hate towards people that we love so much our friends and stuff so yeah. um we yeah. applaud you and i'm so grateful it's that you like feel like this newfound purpose and, and how fulfilling on a soul level that is like, that's just very cool. Um, and it, 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 it really, you know, it, it, it warms my very cold heart um, that, I, that I have people like you three that embrace everybody who either comes on your show, sits in the chat and talks to you, comes to see you and meet you at the conventions and at the events. And no matter who they are or, or anything, the three of you love them unconditionally and it doesn't matter if they're 
of their race, of their gender, of their sexual orientation. It doesn't matter. And if the world was full of the three of you and we could copy and paste you all over the world, it'd be a very magical place because I, I wish that everybody could accept people the way the three of you accept people. Um, and it, and it, and it means a lot to me. It really does. And you know, oh. it's, <laughs> CJ, but it's, it's true. It, it's know, it's true. You know, it is true. You know, the first time I, I met the three of you was when Ginger was on the show last year uh, for your birthday, Val. And since then, the three of you have accepted me as a friend and it, and it means a lot to me. And I watch what the three of you do on social media. I'm not a stalker, I promise. Um, but I, we you stalk you, don't worry. <laughs> it's actually kind but, of creepy how much we but, stalk you. We but are. you support so many people and no matter who they are, it's just, it's it's unconditional and, and I appreciate it, I really do. No, we appreciate We're it. We're honored, we're honored. That. I was like, oh God, a world full of us. Can you imagine the insanity? Oh. Oh, fun, though. So much fun. That's a whole lot of got for sure. My goodness. In all seriousness, so CJ, as we close things out here, what are you looking forward to after this got TV chat, after you know, Pride Month, whatever it may be, whether it's professionally or personally, we're gonna put all your links in the description, but what are you looking forward to after this? Um, I hope that people just go out there and treat people with humidity, humility. Um, and love and compassion in that they, they don't judge a book based off what they've heard and they base it off the actual person. Right. Um, and that they have the opportunity to sit there and talk to people and understand that everyone is unique and individual um, and to respect that and to hopefully change the world one day at a time, you know, do things with a purpose. Mm -hmm. That's so beautiful. Thank you for that. Lisa and Mickey, what are you guys looking forward to after, after this call to the episode? I mean, anything coming up? Oh, I have lots coming up. Like, obviously, I'm I'm busy doing this right now. Um, I'm going to France soon, Val. I hope to see mm. you there. Maybe over. Going to France um, in July, and our dear friend Jess ODB is getting married. Lisa and I will be at the wedding. We're very excited about that. What else? What? That's all I can think of off the top of my head at the moment. Yeah. That's yeah. all I got. Yeah, I have a lot of I have I have a lot of comic cons coming up, and um, yes, um, we leave this coming up well. Wednesday, yeah, yeah, Wednesday to go to ODB's wedding and um, and uh, a maid of honor, a uh, Mickey's bridesmaid. So we'll be there Wednesday through Sunday. So, yeah, so it, it's going to be an event. We're going to recreate uh, the scene from Bridesmaids. Oh my gosh! Oh, street, yes. Dessert wine <laughs> is served. Dessert wine is out. You're really doing it. You're really doing really it. Really doing it. it. Really doing it. Uh, really doing it. I hope. I hope that she hires Wilson Phillips just for this occasion. Well, well I have a lot of things to do as well. And one of those things, CJ, this involves you. Hopefully, coming back to Orlando around July. I know it's hot as Hades, but I'd love to come home. And hopefully, you'll be there. We'll, we'll, we'll reconvene. Hopefully, we can hang out and uh, in, in our beloved uh, Orlando. But. CJ, thank you so much for being here. Thank, thank you for all that you do and you and Ginger give, give her our love and just, yes. you're really doing it. Like we said, with what Robin Williams told you about, you know, just do everything with passion and everything. You're doing it and you're making a change. And we're so proud of you for so many reasons, but we really appreciate that you being on this episode during Pride Month to kind of nice. spread awareness, spread the love and spread that sort of inclusive message. So thank you. Cheers to you. And we love you so much. Cheers to you. Yeah, I have a shot just for this. Yes. Dang it, we didn't get the notice. <laughs> we didn't. We shots in person. Cheers, you guys. Ladies, I love you too. CJ, we love you. Cheers. I love you. This is the word to go, yo, yo.